this morning I put out a video that I need to rectify straight away. So this video that you can see up here, the uh, Heat Geek versus Octopus Energy, the cost of a heat pump. 2024, I did a price comparison and I've just done a 2025 comparison. Or in fact, I actually made this video well over a month ago and it was sat there in my members only section until I could release it. It's gone live and just on Friday, oh, um, Heat Geek massively overhauled their pricing structure. So I've got to rerun the numbers for you. And fortunately, a good viewer flagged this seven hours ago and heat geek two hours ago have given me the heads up that my video is out of date on the day of release so i've rerun the numbers and as a reminder uh, i run two properties through this a five bedroom detached big family house and also a uh, two bedroom three bedroom end of terrace house as well so if i uh, you can't quite see it in there but um, typical because the uh, house name is in there. So this is for the smaller terrace house. Now they are talking about £2,500, a Valen Aratherm plus 7 kilowatts for a heat loss of under 5 kilowatts. And for the bigger property, it's their estimated heat loss of 6.36 kilowatts. They are quoting for a 10 kilowatt valent Aratherm Plus and only 2,700 pounds. Now, let me walk you through how that compares. And the interesting thing that they've done with their platform here, I'm protecting the addresses, but you can actually choose. And so at the moment, this is for the big house and it's shown 2,700 pounds. If I want a bit more efficiency, that's 3,800 pounds. And it goes from two radios has being upgraded to six radiators being upgraded but both of those are reusing the existing hot water cylinder and then if I click the button for 400% it then takes the price up to 5150 that also says reuse the existing cylinder with 10 radiators upgraded now I can also go down, go down here and I can pick um, where I want to site it and so if you need to put it uh, you know a few meters away it could be an extra 550 pounds I like this kind of modular approach it lets the buyer have a little bit more control and I love that being a control freak here you go a new 208 liter cylinder which you're definitely gonna want at least that in a big five bedroom house an extra 1650 and so that brings the price up to 6800 pounds so interesting that we can you know we can work the figures here and it's a similar story for the smaller property um, that at the moment £2,500 up to £3,350 and that's going from one radio up <laughs> one rad upgrade to four rads being upgraded and then up to seven radiators being upgraded £4,450 is what they're quoting and once again within six metres, within nine metres. Oh, interesting. The prices aren't exactly the same as the last property and uh, a new cylinder as well. So excellent. They've also reduced the design consultation fee. So that is now £250. Let me show you that. You can see at the bottom there, apparently that was 325 something like that. So they've reduced the price of that, which is great. Let's have a look. How are Octopus stacking up? Well, what we want to do is last time we were selecting Octopus on their eco setting, which was more radiators upgraded, more work. But we're going to compare it to Heat Geek by using a, a turbo installation, less upgrades, get the heat pump in there. And we this comes out of £4,829. And that, that one is for the big five bedroom detached house. And then for the uh, smaller terrace house £3,787 but importantly I've put those figures into my existing spreadsheet and you can see here the price comparison I did in 2024 up the top there and then what I did a month or six weeks ago something like that in 2025 and yes that might be slightly more efficient in terms of running cost but look at the massive difference in the in the installation costs if you go for these um, turbo or you know more uh, streamlined systems you're halving the capital investment for both of these properties 
where you go with Heat Geek on their new pricing structure. And of course, yeah, you know, you can make it a bit more modular and make it work for you. And Octopus, of course, the jump from Eco to Turbo, you can see that it's substantial. Um, we're nearly, you know, £800, £1,000. That pays for a lot of electricity. So in the same time, uh, the price of boilers is roughly similar. Um, you can see that the boiler for the larger property has actually come down, but the smaller property, the boiler price is almost exactly the same. So what do you think about that? Do you think this is the way forward? Less disruption, get those boilers in. We know that they run now and we know that they can run efficiently. And yes, radiators are important. Um, but I think uh, a lot of people are starting to understand it's just about the control and letting them run 24-7, you know, low and slow and just having a good flow and, uh, you know, as much system uh, inertia that's what i was calling it last winter when we were doing a lot of heat pump videos the thermal inertia um, that you can build up by just running it for a long time do you think this is the way forward it seems to offer a really great alternative and is a i like that they are not they're not saying no to those people who want to be top of the scops and want to go for a you know 500% efficient system and massive K3 radiators and everything else that comes with that. But they're opening up the market to include much, many more people. And as you can see, if you need to replace a gas boiler, according to these figures right here, if you live in a big house, it could now theoretically be cheaper for you doesn't i mean there'll probably be some assumptions and caveats cheaper to get a heat pump and even if you're in a small terrace house and this one here was just quoted for a combi boiler no cylinder which actually would throw a spanner in the works with this heat geek quote because that was uh assuming that they would use the existing cylinder so yeah actually now i think of it there's not quite price parity there for a small terrace house with a combi boiler but interesting nonetheless and i'm still confident with some smart tariffs and with some good optimization that a heat pump can have lower running costs let me know what you think uh drop it in the comments and apologies for flooding your feed with videos but i felt the need for this one to just get out there with a correction straight away and uh give bring you some more hopefully useful information thank you for watching goodbye like comment subscribe